the idea that we feel that God is very, very far away. This happened to Job. And Jesus found that when he was on the cross. And neither Job nor Jesus were bad people. So in my experience, I find that uh, when I am, we would use the expression dry. Uh, when I have been feeling as if God is far away and why is he not there, I have not found that it is because of secret sin or that God does not love me anymore. It tends to be because God is wanting me to respond to him or to just remain faithful and wait for the change of season. A friend of mine was a missionary in Africa And one day he was trying to sleep in a, a, a mud brick hut and it was like an oven, very hot. And as he lay there, he watched that there was a trail of ants going up the wall of this hut. And the timber that was that was holding up the roof to stop that timber being eaten by insects they have painted it with a very very smelly paint. We call this creosote. I don't know whether that's a name. Anyway, okay. And he noticed that when the ants got to this piece of wood that was very smelly they would lose the smell of the scent for the trail to keep following. And they would begin wandering around wondering where the smell was. Huh? But he noticed that quite a number of them continued on the trail on the other side. The ones that managed to stay all the way on the trail were the ones who, when they lost the smell of the scent, they stayed on the same track. And he realized in his own life there are times when God has given him a direction and then it seems that God has gone silent. He gets no further guidance or wisdom from God and he remembers those ants. I must keep going on the same direction until God tells me to change direction. So I would think that if you are having that experience of feeling that you, yeah, God is not listening to you or something, that you just remain faithful in your heart and expect that the season will change. And that, as the season changed for Job. 